We did a recent video on peptides and, and clomiphene and those sorts of things, HCG, and had some comments about whether or not those are steroids. So in this case, let me walk you through what actually counts as a steroid and what does not. So steroids are hormones that are structurally four fused carbon rings. This is important because that makes them fat soluble, not water soluble. So steroids will work a certain way they change the way that your body transcribes genes. So it actually gets down to the gene level and doesn't change the genes, it just makes your body process certain ones differently. And that's where the benefits come from. So in the case of things like testosterone, which is a steroid and related anabolic steroids, those will bind to the androgen receptor, go into that, you know, the gene area, the nucleus of the cell, and that's where it transcribes genes related to building muscle and you know, deepening voice and those sorts of effects there. Other steroids, things like estrogen, technically a steroid, Corticosteroids, things like cortisol, cortisone, dexamethasone, all of those are different so called glucocorticoids that work on that anti inflammatory pathway, works on the immune system, blood sugar control, that kind of stuff. There are other steroids that will regulate how much sodium versus potassium your kidneys are you know, controlling for here, which then relates to blood pressure control and fluid status, electrolyte balance, all that kind of stuff. Those are things like aldosterone. Vitamin D is technically a steroid because its benefits work the same way it crosses into the nucleus and causes the cells to do something different with this gene transcription. So steroids, not steroids, peptides. Peptides are protein-based therapies. Those are inherently not steroids. And clomiphene, clomiphene, those are what we call SERMs. They're selective estrogen receptor modulators. So those are small molecules that like other medications go and bind to a receptor instead that's on the outside of the cell. And that causes different changes in the way that the cell behaves after that. So not steroids either. So they make your body produce more of testosterone and you know, the anabolic steroids like that. Steroid safety. So in this case, there's a long talk on general steroid safety, but the big difference between oral versus injected is that the oral ones, those steroids are modified so the body doesn't immediately digest them and you don't get the actual circulatory benefit. They don't get the tissues that want them. They go to the liver and die. So to make something orally active, that molecule is going to be modified to survive the liver. But that's why those also can be what we call hepatotoxic or damaging to the liver. Whereas if you're injecting these, they tend to bypass the liver and therefore have much less of an impact there directly.